A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus then said to them, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound the trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not, know what, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room, shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show that they are fasting. And truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Word of the Lord. When I was in the process of discernment, uh, what we call discernment for the priesthood. If you're not familiar with the with the term or the concept, it's it's that idea of me or whoever is discerning to be wrestling with trying to make sense of God's call in their life. And that may be God's call to ordain ministry. That may be God's call to lay ministry in some way. I believe God has a call for everybody. Uh, but the discernment process is a process of deliberately doing that work for trying to figure out where you think God is calling you to, what God is calling you to. And at least in the Episcopal Church, the way we do this is you gather with a group of other people, other members of your church, sometimes members outside of your church. And, and, as, and as you have a sort of a listening group, they ask you questions as the discerner and they're trying to get at this idea of what does it mean to be called and what do we think we're called to. I bring all this up to say I spent a lot of time in that discernment group trying to figure out what was the right thing to say that would convince them that I was called to the priesthood. And I spent a lot of time trying to prove it to them, as it, as it were, that, that I would be a good priest. And that I hoped my answers would be impressive because I had to convince them. Otherwise, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me be this thing I feel called to be, to go out into the world and do. And it wasn't going well. <laughs> and, I, and I think I realized in part was because I wasn't taking the time to actually discern the kind of person God was calling me to be in the world, I was just trying to show them the kind of person I thought they wanted to see in me to prove that I would be a good priest. And eventually, I, I remember having the conversation with them when I said I had to stop and, and say, I think I'm called to the priesthood. I believe that this is what God is calling me to do. It's not through any glory that I want to have or how I want to prove myself to anyone else or because I think I deserve it. Um, ultimately, God is calling me and I'm trying to answer. I feel this in my heart that this is the person that I know I can be in this world as my way of answering God's call in, in gratitude for my existence for being me. It's the same argument we use when we talk about trying to figure out how much do you give when you're pledging to your church to support church ministry. Um, ultimately, it's not supposed to be about what you give that will impress others or show others that you're doing your part or enough. It's not to prove it to anyone else. It's meant to be your faithful response to what you think God is calling you to contribute. Part of why we tend to keep it 
secret from one another. Private, not secret, private from one another. Uh, because if we get too caught in the trap of trying to pursue ministry, even well-meaning ministries like giving to the church or discerning for ordained ministry like this, if we get too fixated on trying to do what we think everyone else wants to see, and we aren't taking the time to stop and listen to who God is calling us to be, then we're missing out on that call. I think that's at least part of what I hear in this story of practicing your piety in secret. At least then, because it's, it's a reminder to us, it's, it's listening for who God is calling you to be, not what you think you want others to see in you. I try to remember that from my early days of discernment. I hang on to it to, to this day. Amen.